welcome back to my second part unboxing to the denim, the 50 pound denim box I got up off of ThreadUp. Um, uh, I wasn't impressed with the first box, um, so we're gonna open up the second box and cross our fingers that there's some better, better denim, better jeans in here. But I don't know. Um, so here's the box. It is. I think it's a little bit lighter, actually. And I haven't even put the box. No, I'm gonna leave it on the ground. Um, so there are a few. There's a lot from the last box that I think I'm just gonna get rid of. Um, cause they they're just they're junk. The usual tissue paper. And let's see. Um, okay, so I do see another American Eagle from the butt pockets. So far, it looks a little better. I don't know. We'll see. Um, so these are American Eagle Outfitters, size 10, high rise jeggings, very distressed. Okay, those are good. Well, that's kind of coming off. Uh, that like came off this little hole. I can just disclose that, but eh, I won't get much for those though. Soho jeans. Wow, these are these are different. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> cool. Um, not really, but we'll see. Okay, then I have Elle, which I sold some of her shirts before. That brand shirts. Not for much. So this isn't that exciting. That's the brand kind of fading off but they're a nice pair of jeans they're just skinny jeans and Taylor Loft um, 33 36 or 16 so they are a bigger size that's good but I don't think her jeans do that well I mean her tops don't even really do that well So we have a Zara authentic denim. I never had Zara jeans, but it's a button fly. They look to be a bit of a high rise. There's like a strap or stripe down the side. Um, raw hen. Does it say what they are? I don't know. There must be a tag ripped off. But yeah, okay, so I'll have to see what these go for. Hopefully, hopefully a good amount. What are these? There is no tag. Oh, here's a tag. But it doesn't. So it's telling me they're 25. The width is 25 and length is 30. But I don't actually see like a brand tag. Oh, they're Topshop. Oh, but they're dirty. Okay, so they're cute, right? Raw head, high rise, they look like. But, oh wait, no. They're not dirty, right? That light is blinding me. Um, no, they look good. Sweet, okay, that's good. Topshop is a good brand. Celebrity Pink, uh, that's just a cheapy brand. High Rise Skinny. I will still sell them though. Oh, there's some lace down the bottom here. Because I know they'll sell. Those brand, those like cheapy brands, they sell. Maybe not for a ton, but they do. Okay, Level 99, never heard of them. like some high rise skinny so size 32 so they are a bigger size that's good I like that okay this is like faded off so I can't tell what the size is or what the brand is I don't think I'm gonna sell these though actually because now that I just saw the back look at the butt on these 
Look at how you can't see it as well in the camera, but they're very. Yeah, you can see there. Yeah, they look terrible. So these are garbage. I should have made two separate piles, but whatever. Okay, so this is Banana Republic, just a black pair of skinny jeans. I have No Boundaries, a pair of tan skinny jeans. That's just a Walmart brand. Democracy. I think I've heard that brand is good. I don't know. But they're a pair of skinny tan jeans. So these would work good for someone going back to work or whatnot. But this is the brand. Can you see is the light okay? We have Liz Lang maternity jeggings, a size small. <clears throat> maternity maternity jeans. Uh, they do they do fairly decent. I bought like a ton of maternity clothing a while back and I did sell all the jeans I got out of it, so yeah. I'm okay with getting those. These are Calvin Klein jeans. Not really a very sought after brand and it's like a very faded black. I might not actually sell these. I don't know. I'll have to look at them again. Not Your Daughter's Jeans. Okay, I do like getting this brand. These do Not Your Daughter's Jeans. They always sell pretty well for me. Um, I've probably sold a few pairs now, and I don't have any left in my closet, so that's good. I've never sold white ones, though, So, but the butt looks pretty cute. There's the butt, the detailing, you can see. So these are 721 high rise skinny jeans, Levi's. These look good. My hair keeps getting in the way. Um, some more Ann Taylor Loft. Modern skinny. Yeah, nothing great about those either. Forever 21. Distressing raw hem. LTJ. LTJ. It says lost. I don't know. Never heard of them. Maybe that's a good brand. Right? Maybe. Okay, so they're size 26. Definitely a high rise. Skinny. Super skinny or like a jegging or something. Guys, my legs are so sore. I just, I just started working out and I started beach body and I'm not used to working out. So, okay, these are LL Bean. They look like men's jeans. Um, I've never sold LL Bean men's jeans or just LL Bean jeans in general. Does that sound right? Um, so these are they men's though? Like, I don't know. They're like folded up though. Or did someone just do that? Yeah, I don't think they're supposed to be. I think the person just folded them up. They almost look like skinny jeans. But I think they're just a straight. Um, I don't see a, a tag. So I'll just have to measure. But yeah, I think these are men's for sure. Um, I have some gap. Some more dimpling on the crotch. Some gray skinny jeans. Universal thread. These look like capris. Universal thread. They're an all right, but nothing, 
nothing too great. Um, Harper Heritage, never heard of them. If you're able to see that, I, they're, uh, let's see, can I get closer? Yeah, is that gonna work? Maybe. Yeah, there we go. So these are a size 30 skinny jeans. They're some distress themed. Rahem. Three more pairs. Um, so low rise favorite fit skinny, black the black skinny jeans. So that's I think that's so good at Kohl's. And here they are. Articles of Society. I think that's a good brand, right? Articles of, I think so. That's good. Um, I'm gonna button it up. It is a button fly. Right there. Bit of a high rise. They feel very soft and stretchy too. Articles of Society, Los Angeles. Yeah, I do believe that that's a good brand. And then, um, wow, what are these? This is the last pair, by the way. Um, this is a size 26 from Forever 21. Okay, wow. So I think that they were like, a, they must have been like a flare jean and someone just totally cut the bottoms off. Like, or bell bottoms or something. Like, look at that. So it's like a raw hem. Is that? No, that's how it's made. So these are definitely like... <laughs> So they're a capri, clearly. Uh, like a bell. Do they make bell bottom capris? Because that's what this looks like. Um, I don't know. I guess I'll try sewing it. I don't know. That was a terrible box. I. Oops. It's a lot of clothes. It's a lot of jeans. What was I thinking? Why did I order those? I don't know. I want to change it up a little bit. <laughs> Okay, anyways, I'm going to go through, I'm going to count the ones that I'm going to keep and sell. The ones that, I'm not going to count in the ones I'm going to get rid of. Um, and then I'm going to divide what I paid by the amount of jeans I have. And then tell you guys how much I technically paid per pair. Um, so I will be right back. Okay, so out of the jeans that I decided to keep and resell... Um, there were 47 pairs. Um, I got rid of one, two, three, four, five, six, six or seven pairs. Um, I did end up keeping that denim jacket that was like bleached. Um, even though it has like that distressing that I don't, that I don't think is supposed to be there. I'm going to try to list it and obviously disclose that that's all there, but maybe it's like part of the style. Like, you know, maybe it'll look cool. Maybe I'll like model it and show i don't know i'm i just counted that in so i took the 69 dollars and 62 cents and divided that by 47 so that came up to about a dollar 48 per pair so that's not bad granted um not bad at all it's just um these aren't desirable jeans and a lot of these are probably going to sit for a while or I'm really not going to make anything on them. Um, I know I'll make, I'll obviously, I'll make my money back easily um, and, and some, but I'm not going to make like a ton. So uh, I don't know. It's all right. Okay. Well, that's all I have for you guys today. Um, if you could give my video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, I would greatly appreciate it. Thanks guys. Bye.